when using the filter in Excel, it's useful to know that you can add and remove items in a special way. So for example, here's my data, and for whatever reason I've decided, I'm gonna start typing SP, I'm going to say I'm only actually interested in that one, that one, and that one. I'm going to say OK. So I look at my data and I realize I need to add something to it. Now I don't want to go through this whole lot again. And If you look down here, there's a whole bunch of XPs. So what I can do is I can type in XP. And then I'll just switch only that one on. And then notice this, it says add current selection to filter. So don't just choose that one. Add this one to what's already there. So when I say OK, so you'll see that is added. Now if we want to remove the threes, so we can obviously go through and you'll see we could do it individually. The problem is this is very small. It's normally they are much bigger. So I'm actually going to type SP003. Tick it, take away the tick and tell it to add this current selection to the filter. So go to what we've chosen and untick SP003. So when I say OK, you'll see it goes away. So you can actually add and remove individual items without having to go through the whole long list to figure out where they are.